What are the signs and symptoms of myeloma? Yeah, so the general signs and symptoms of multiple myeloma are not really specific for the disease and they again can be unspecific. So for instance, patient might develop anemia, but your body is not telling you I have anemia. You might feel just more fatigue and very often patients try to downplay symptoms. They say, oh, I'm getting older or I'm not in shape. I didn't have enough sleep and they deny those symptoms. So. Um, anemia can be a sign of multiple myeloma and it's important that you follow up with your doctor for regularly blood checks, especially when you are older. So I recommend that you have once a year a blood check to see, for instance, signs of anemia. Another, symptoms, another symptom is bone pain. So when the multiple myeloma attacks your bone, you can have bone pain. Again, very unspecific. It can be pain in your spine. Who is over 50 and never had pain in the spine? So that's why Try to read your body. If you have constant bone pain in your spine and it's not really typical, it's independent from, independent, independent from any activity, maybe ask your doctor and say, you know, let's do an x-ray. I mentioned that the myeloma attacks the bone and when the myeloma um, eats the bone, it's not a nice word to say eat, but that's what happens, um, you can, you release, or the, the bone releases calcium. So the calcium levels in your blood can be high. Again, symptoms are unspecific for high calcium. It can be nausea, it can be vomiting, um, and nobody would attribute nausea to high calcium. Again, have a regular follow-up. See your doctor when you have those symptoms, more fatigue, bone pain, nausea, then you should really see a doctor. Uh, neuropathy can also be a symptom of multiple myeloma. Again, very unspecific. You feel numbness in your hands, in your fingers, or in your feet. Uh, and patients say, oh, I'm getting old, and maybe you have diabetes that is associated with this. But it's important that your doctor really follows up on those unspecific symptoms and that somebody tries to bring the symptoms together. So multiple myeloma, again, can have very unspecific symptoms. It, you can have fatigue from anemia, you can have neuropathy from the monoclonal protein attacking your nerves, you can have bone pain, you can have high calcium that results in some nausea. The symptoms are very unspecific and especially when you get older you try to deny and you say that oh you know this is age related or you go to your doctor and you saw the doctor for many years and the doctor said oh you will be fine you know and don't worry. I think it is important first of all that the doctor listens to the patient. I had an old professor who said, right now I'm old, but I remember what he said. He said to me, your patient is always right. So your patient is always correct. And I think the doctors need to listen to the patient because you as a patient, you know your body. You know if there's something completely different than it was a year before. And you know that the changes who you really notice are maybe more drastic than just related to age. So that's why you should insist that your doctor follows up on the symptoms. And the follow-up can be pretty simple. A blood test can help to find, do you have anemia? Do you have hypercalcemia? Do you have a high protein that indicates multiple myeloma? And just do a simple x-ray to see, is there any abnormality in your spine, a lytic lesion or a fracture? Those are very simple tests who can really help you to detect the myeloma very early. And if you still feel something is wrong, please insist and talk to your doctor.